Hey guys, it's Fonza here with DipYourCar.com. I got a really important video for you guys today. Um, you know, we do a lot of projects showing how to use the product and, and where to use it and things like that, but what we're going to show you today is how to fix Plasti Dip. Now, you guys use it on wheels, whole cars, all sorts of different things. And even for myself, up until now, if you got a break in the Plasti Dip or if you got some texture while you were working on it, there's really nothing you can do other than to peel it off and start over. Working with this stuff as much as I do, I've come up with a couple different tactics that can not only help you fix a break or a roll in Plasti Dip, but also help fix any texture that you may have gotten. That way you don't have to peel it off, you don't have to start over. So we got a little fix it kit that we're offering on the website. It's really just to put everything together in one bundle so you know where to get it. And I'm gonna walk you through today. Uh, we've got a wheel here with a break in it. We've also got some texture that we threw on there as well. I'm gonna walk you through how to fix those bring it back to a recoverable situation. Fonzie with Dip Your Car, hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, now we've taken this wheel, it's got about three coats of Plasti Dip on it right now, and as you can see here we created a tear. This is something that you guys see pretty much all the time. Um, it's a tear through all three layers, it's actually got some lift there, because as you know, if you try to pull any of that Plasti Dip off, you're gonna get a lifted section. Now over here what we've got is we sprayed it from a little too far away on purpose to create some texture. Now everything else on this wheel is nice and smooth. Here's where we've got some of that texture. Now normally if you try to spray over that texture, the layers on top of this are gonna pick up the texture. There's really no way, way to get away with it. So I'm gonna show you how to use our Fix-It kit and get rid of this texture and actually repair this tear so you can continue with your project. Okay guys, now I'm gonna take you through what's in the Fix-It kit. It's actually just real simple. We've got some nitro gloves here the blue colored gloves and it's really important that you use these gloves because um, they're rated for chemical use and if you're going to be putting your hands on the thinner blend that we use we really want you know to have the glove that's going to protect from that. Uh, also in the fix-it kit is uh, half a quart of the blend of thinners that we use here at Dip Your Car. This works really really well to reliquify the Plasti Dip that's on there and kind of break it down and give us that nice smooth surface. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to fix the brake first then I'm going to show you how to fix the texture. We're going to let that dry. We're going to put some new coats on, see if we can get it back to fresh. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to open the, the blend of thinners and you're going to dip your finger right into that blend of thinners. And you're going to start moving some of that thinner onto the break. And you just want to tap it. You don't want too much. Start working that on there a little bit at a time. Make sure there's not too much excess because we don't want to drip thinner over the whole wheel. And the, the goal here is to just work this edge here, reliquify it, let the thinner do the work, and the goal is to take that raised edge down to a smooth surface. So you're gonna take something that's got that raised edge of the Plasti Dip, and we wanna put the thinner on there and work it down to a nice smooth surface. So keep adding it on and working it until you can't feel that edge anymore. That'll let that new layer of Plasti Dip cover the hole instead of just patching it where you'll see that line. And once you feel that really smooth surface where you can't feel the change in levels anymore, then you're just gonna let it dry and we're gonna start adding more layers. So right now, I can't feel any of those edges, so we're gonna let it be. Now it's really important to continue to re-wet and rework the Plasti Dip with the thinner as you go. If you let it dry too much, it's gonna start getting very sticky and tacky and then when you work it, you're gonna start rolling up way too much of the dip. You're gonna cause a bigger problem than you already had. So, I was able to level that out and smooth it out. We're gonna move over to the textured side now. Okay, now we've got this spoke here that's completely covered with texture. We've got texture on here as well. I'm gonna leave this one so you can see the contrast when we're done. It's the same principle. We're gonna take just a little bit of that thinner. And we're gonna apply it right onto the, to the dipped surface. The first, the first um, goal here is just to to saturate the Plasti Dip a little bit with it before you start working the texture way. Again, if you don't have enough on there, it's gonna be really sticky and tacky, and you're not gonna be able to work it right. So, we've got enough on there now. We're gonna smooth that surface out. The texture just melts right away. We're reliquifying the Plasti Dip. And once you get a nice smooth surface on there, there's no reason to overdo it. We're just gonna let it dry, just like that. All that texture is gonna be gone, and we're gonna reapply some fresh Plasti Dip coats to cover it. Okay guys, what we've done is we've thinned down and smoothed out the break and also the texture as well. Now what we found is that when you thin this down and smooth it out, you're able to 
you know, eliminate all the lifting, you're able to go right past the lifting and bring it back to one smooth surface. The thing is, when you have three coats of Plasti Dip, it builds up. And when you have a break, there's a change in levels there. And if you don't do anything to it, you spray right over that change in levels, you're gonna see a cutout and an edge. So thinning this down and smoothing it out brings everything down to the same level, nice and smooth, and it eliminates that edge. Now what I'm gonna do is put a nice coat of, uh, of the same black Plasti Dip over the whole wheel. Now what we don't want to do is just that one spoke because we want a nice well finished wheel and we don't want to have one section have more coats on it than others. So we're going to put it a little, little heavier in that one section and the other section where we had the problems but we're going to give the whole wheel a nice finished coat and we'll see where we go from there. Alright everybody, as you can see this here was the spoke with that tear and that lift in it. You can see everything's laid down nice and smooth, nice and flat. That tear has been covered up by two more layers of, of fresh Plasti Dip and you can't see the hole or any of the lines. Now over here is where we had those textured spokes. This is the spoke that we fixed and this obviously is the spoke that still has all that texture on it. The thinner was able to reliquify all that textured Plasti Dip and bring it down to a nice, nice smooth finish. Really easy ways to fix not only tears and lifts in the Plasti Dip, but the texture as well. That's how you fix Plasti Dip. Now that fix it kit is available on dipyourcar.com. It's obviously really cheap. It's just a way to get that blend of thinners and the, and the gloves and everything together in one spot so you don't have to search out for it. Um, now this will work with texture. It'll work with breaks and lifts in the Plasti Dip. It'll work with if you have a wheel and around the edge sometimes you'll have a roll or a, a spot that will kind of come down a little bit on the edge of the wheel, it'll work for all that stuff. So finally you don't have to start over, you don't have to peel anything when you have uh, something wrong with the Plasti Dip, it is recoverable. If you have any questions, customer service at dipyourcar.com. This is Fonzie, see you on the next video.